This is the Transformers Buzzworthy Bumblebee War for Cybertron Trilogy Worlds Collide 4-Pack Nemesis Primal, Fangry, Bumblebee, and Black Arachnia. I picked up this set at our toys. Let's take a quick look at the back of the packaging looking absolutely fantastic for this review we will be focusing on black arachnia let's get her out of packaging here is black arachnia out of packaging and <laughs> again oh my goodness the figure looks great uh she's got this copper or sort of orangey copper type of plastic that they used for her legs for her claws and for her lower legs it looks great you've got this really nice looking head sculpt unbelievably well sculpted look at those nice eyes some uh, metallic uh, faceplate very nice uh, and there's a lot of metallic paint apps on the figure itself. Look at the thighs, the inner thighs, uh, even the chest or the abdomen. Very, very impressive. I'm actually very, very pleased with the way this figure came out. Lots of metallic paint apps. I was very surprised it came out that way. And the figure just absolutely pops. The only dull thing about this figure is this avocado green plastic that they used for some of the bits here and there for the joints uh of this figure and i guess they couldn't avoid it they're trying to get this accurate uh, look of black arachnia as she was in the toy and if you're wondering why she looks like this and nothing like the one she looks like on the show i'll show that off later the reason they did this was because the designers at hasbro actually wanted to put her on it's sort of a romantic date with silverbolt and you see her leopard print top right there and some really outrageous colors. She's ready to get it on with Silverbolt in this really nice outfit. And I think that's what the designers planned this figure to look like. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, okay? The, the real reason is she, she, her pimp told her that she couldn't wear anything else that did not have animal print, okay? She needed animal print. That was a requirement from her pimp and so that she could get more animals. <laughs> to go come after i i'm, I'm kidding I, I jest oh my goodness this is the toy accurate version of black arachnia which which was really just a tarantulas mold that they repainted and re uh, decked out uh back in the 90s that's why the head sculpt looks like this because it's a tarantulas head sculpt that they just redecorated. obviously this is not a tarantulas they they made a black arachnia head sculpt that looked like the repainted tarantulas head sculpt so i'm hoping that we'll be given this we we should be getting tarantulas soon i hope because they've <laughs> gone and decided to do something like this but does the mold have mold degradation unfortunately it does very loose shoulders hips yeah a little bit loose loose knees yeah uh thighs are still tight elbows okay biceps okay feet yeah, a little loose there but unfortunately there is a lot of mold degradation and look at this head sculpt it's just very very loose but one thing i am very very pleased with this figure is her not her i was going to say her breasts but her, her chest i am pleased with her that her chests have no no longer have that peg of doom man i'm just digging myself in a hole right now uh she has she has incredible <laughs> I was about to say an incredible chest because the the peg is much shorter and the hole right here is much bigger. Thus, you can press down on her chest or on her bosom and they don't they don't get stuck anymore. If you've seen my reviews of the Black Arachnia, the Kingdom Black Arachnia, I had picked up two or three copies of that figure just so I could get one that did not break. Uh, I don't think they shaved off too much of that peg. I just think that they made the hole bigger so it doesn't get stuck anymore. We don't have any broken pegs. That is amazing. That is probably the best part of this figure, at least in itself, just the figure alone. That's, that's what really got me interested with this figure. And I'm 
totally, totally going to give this one a good rating just because of those uh, repaired breasts. I mean, I mean, augmented breasts, chest, the the repaired peg and hole for her chest. Okay, so let's get her into her uh, tarantula mode or Black Widow, uh, Black Widow Beast mode. Okay, it's the same transformation. We're going to do it very, very quickly. We're not going to spend too much time on it. Okay, and I hope I don't break it. <laughs> this, up and back. Like that. Get it like this. And rotate like this. Rotate. Okay. Legs. I'm going to go like this. Like this. Okay, this. Okay. Okay, collapse those legs. Come on. Feels like you're going to break them. So the knees are are still pretty tight. So that's that's good. Okay. And then here we go. Oh, I forgot to mention, she does come with a gun. It's just a repainted crossbow blaster, much like uh, what we had with Black Arachna, but instead of gold and yellow, bronze, it's purple and black. I actually like this one, matte black finish. Very, very cool. Now if we can just properly align. Oh, before you do that, you might want to just plug in uh, the gun. Okay. All right. And then everything will... Just nestle underneath here. I'm just going to position it like this. Okay. All right. There you go. So she looks great. Um, the Venom Sac avocado colored ones. That's the only thing that's bugging me with that figure. But other than that, it looks great. This is the original Black Arachnia from Kingdom. Very, very cool. They look great. Absolutely amazing. I think the paint apps turned out better on this one. You get a more premium feel uh, with this new figure. Uh, it's not show accurate. Yes, I, I will give that. But suffice to say, I think they did a wonderful job with the redeco. Like I always say, you got to nail those new colors for the redeco to work. And it absolutely works out for this new Black Arachnia figure. And here are both Black Arachnia figures in their robot modes. I wanted to go back to the robot mode because one of the biggest reasons why collectors are after this particular figure, out of all the figures in the entire set, they want this figure for the spider legs. And what they want to do is do a swap to make this one look more show accurate with the copper orangey legs instead of the black legs. And, you know... Looking at these two figures, I think this figure could benefit from the black leg. It could break that copper orange monotony going on in the arms. Instead of just avocado and copper, you get some black highlights. I think this figure is going to look better with the black leg. So I haven't done it. I haven't tried to do it. I actually don't know how I'm going to do it. I got a bunch of tools. We got a, we got a bunch of tools to help us out do this in case I break something. We got some super glue. We need to cut anything. We got a box cutter and all that. So we'll put those off to the side. I, I'm hoping we don't need them, but uh, we will, what we will do is remove the black legs and swap them out with the copper legs. So let's try this one since also he's she's got some mold degradation and the joints are probably a little bit loose on this one. You could probably get less friction removing the swivel joints right here. It's not but oh, okay it caught me a little off guard okay so yeah that's it okay and then let's see okay oh okay there we go yeah okay and then come on okay it helps if you like twist it and, and pull instead of just pushing it out you just twist and, and pull i guess that that helps a lot. Very slowly, very gingerly. Okay, there we go. 
Oh, <sighs> cringeworthy, man. And then let's do that technique. If we can just twist and twist and pull, okay. Do the same on the other side. We can go twist and pull, twist and pull. You don't want to break anything. Okay, so let's swap the spider arms. Let's start with the show accurate black arachnia. I hope it's a good fit. I mean, sometimes, you know, even if it's the same mold, sometimes the way they've cut, they've die cut the, um, the plastic, sometimes there's burrs and, you know, unevenness of the, the, the way they cut the plastic. So it doesn't always quite work out. So, okay. First one's done. So this new black arachnia looking amazing with the new legs. And will you look at that? I knew it. I knew it. The black legs just complements the arms. It breaks the monotony. Look at the, the black thighs. They, they are a nice complement to each other. I am absolutely impressed with this. I think this is what they should have done. I think they were, this was a fix on the part of Hasbro. Instead of doing a running change with the Kingdom Black Arachne, they decided to do a redeco and hope that fans could somehow do their own modifications and and just you know see the logic that you know you could easily pop those legs off and you can come up with a very quick mod just like this and so some final thoughts on this new toy accurate black arachnia from the world's collide buzzworthy bumblebee four pack i think it's an amazing figure not just because we could use the legs to make this new black arachnia more show accurate i think on its own it is a very very decent rendition of black arachnia if you're into those toy accurate versions of the modern generations figures you've got to pick this one up as as it is she looks great in these toy accurate colors Despite having some degree of mold degradation, I think the figure has held up. I love the new uh, tarantulas repainted head sculpt. I think they're both great. You don't have to get one over the other or, you know, after you're done with this one, you know, I think she's still worth keeping. These are great figures. I mean, had Hasbro executed them properly with those, those pegs, had they done all of the uh, running changes they did with this figure on this figure, this would have been a perfect, perfect figure. But as it is, I am very grateful that Hasbro has somehow, somehow you know, given us a running change, sort of a fix to the problems we've had with the original Kingdom Black Arachnia with this new uh, Buzzworthy Bumblebee Black Arachnia. The figure is going to get a 9 out of 10. Very impressed with it. Let me know in the comment section what you think of this buzzworthy Worlds Collide Black Arachnia. Hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my latest video reviews. And if it's your first time here, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.